Hi everyone. What I love about this week's topic on looking inward is that it comes at a needed moment for a greater conversation that's happening about leadership in our world today. A few years ago, there was an article published in the New York Times entitled, No Time to Think. And the premise of this piece was that here in our modern world, we find ourselves overextended and there really is no time for critical self-reflection. The article went on and cited a study published in the journal Science, which the researchers in that study explored how far people will go to avoid introspection. When it comes to being a leader and developing others, introspection or critical self-reflection, it's often categorized as an optional area for consideration. Yet, it's an important part of leadership development. Uh, one author, George Watts, reaffirms its longstanding history in psychology and how introspection, uh, it's a needed skill that leads toward maturity. In the medical profession, uh, the awareness of one's own knowledge and performance is often referred to as insight and having the capacity allows one to know their own strengths and weaknesses and capacity for change, which ultimately is the heart of this conversation. One new measure to assess insight is a scale called the Self-Reflection and Insight Scale, which captures more than just emotive qualities, but reflection and cognition. In other words, it's not just enough to know about yourself, but just as important to know what to do about that something. Um, in the world of leadership, this similar concept coined by Peter Drucker is called feedback analysis and hints at being aware of both others and yourself. A Harvard Business Review article from a while back made the case that these acts of reflection, introspection, self-awareness, or whatever you want to call it, whatever you choose to call it, um, they should not be seen as soft or auxiliary but essential. I hope that this theme of looking inward gets deeply embedded because as we move to the next couple of modules on crafting a shared vision and encouraging the heart, those external acts must be informed by our own internal realities. Changing and leading others begins, first of all, with knowing ourselves. So first up, beginning next week, is how we create organizational unity, or what the text terms inspire a shared vision. Often we talk of vision in the far, the abstract, the side of the long-term goal, and we forget what it takes, uh, what the work it takes to get there. How do leaders actually instill this idea in others, and just how future thinking, uh, what future thinking needs to happen, and uh, what do leaders need to do to get there and to be. So this will be a fun discussion. Uh, now this Sunday, you'll be turning in your first paper, and I look forward to reading them. What I'm looking for is that you've dug deep down into the nuances of your own sense of leadership development. We've shared some initial ideas in the discussion, and as you know, I want you to discuss your findings according to what's found in the research. Is it consistent? Does it correspond? You know, finding patterns and themes is all part of good analysis, and I posted uh, this in the announcement, uh, some tips on that. Now, if you haven't yet watched uh, my video on tips on your first paper, uh, please do so as I know these tips right before a paper is due has helped students significantly. So think of the paper as putting yourself in the position of an unbiased observer who's meant to learn something about you. Based on the assessment tool that you've chosen, what aspect would you highlight and why? Would it make a difference which assessment tool you used? 
You know, discussing these things are great as they're all good questions to consider. Uh, remember that you have the option to write in first person, though if you've gotten a feel to write in third person, by all means, just do that. Remember to choose one tense and stick to it throughout your paper. Continue to discuss things through the remainder of the week. Submit your paper. Reflect on things that we've talked about, what we've discussed. And as always, don't hesitate to contact me anytime. I really look forward to reading your papers, and I'll see all of you online.